Three, <laughs> two, one. Action. Hey, what's up, you guys? <laughs> hey, Jay. Yeah. <laughs> what should I uh, film today? Mmm. I think. I think people would want to know what your top favorites are right now. Okay. Okay. That's a pretty good idea. You should tell them all about what you're into right now. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Like my like favorite Instagrammers, my favorite YouTubers, my favorite products. Yeah. Are you playing any games right now? Ooh, funny you should ask. <laughs> okay guys, I hope you enjoyed that little intro. Um, today we will be discussing my current favorites at the moment. And if my makeup looks a little bit, you know, shocking, if I look like a different human than I did, say, my last video, that's because I was playing around with some new makeup I picked up because I'm doing my cousin's grad makeup this weekend, which I'm really excited for. But let's go ahead and get into a few of my favorite products right now. I'm going to talk to you guys about... So I'm going to talk to you guys about a couple of my favorite products that I've picked up recently or some things that I've actually had for a little while, but I just feel like I need to spread the love and let you guys know if you're missing these products in your life, you might need to pick them up. First couple of things are some things that you can pick up from Sephora. So starting off are these scrunchies. So you're probably wondering why I'm telling you guys about scrunchies because you probably all already have a gazillion of them. But these scrunchies are the Invisibobble brand, which you might be familiar with them because they make like these hair ties, which are like really good at holding your hair. And I think that these claim to like not leave any creases and stuff in your hair, which I don't know. I feel like I definitely get creases when I use these, but not when I use the scrunchies because they are like padded in like this, you know, velvety material and they're so cute. And I find that I can just use these and get like a nice tight bun with them. Like otherwise, compared to like a regular scrunchie where they're a little bit like softer and easier to like slip out and you're not going to get like that tight ponytail. So I really, really like these and they're just so cute. Next product is another one that you guys may have heard of. And it is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask in vanilla. And so it is considered a lip sleeping mask, but you can literally wear this whenever the heck you want. I just put it on as like a lip chap, and it is the most moisturizing lip mask, lip chap, lip treatment I have ever used. And I got the vanilla one, and it smells like absolutely unreal. And every time I put it on, Jane wants to kiss my face off, and I'm like, hey, I got my favorite lip chap on. And he's like, yeah, I know, because your lips look so good right now, right? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just but yeah, it smells good. It no, tastes good. No, you can put it in. Say, because of PDA, you say, he always says, oh, damn, your lips look really big. Right? That's what he says. This. Get it. <laughs> um, next product is kind of ridiculous. And don't worry, I thought it was too still kind of do but it's <laughs> this shower cap she literally complained about it for like eight months <laughs> why did i get this <laughs> what am i gonna do with this i look like a potato <laughs> it looks really dumb on and it was so expensive i don't even want to tell you how much it is go on sephora's website and you can figure it out yourself it's stupid, but I probably wear this almost every day now. It literally works better than any other hair cap, shower cap, whatever the heck I've ever used in my whole life. And it like really fits on your head well. Your hair will not get wet unless it like unless you don't put it on well enough. And it comes in a lot of cute patterns and it's just I just get so much use out of it and you know, 10 out of 10 recommend. <laughs> 11 out of 10. 11 out of 10 recommend. So I only got <laughs> a couple more tangible products to show you and then we'll move on into like my favorite YouTubers, music, all that kind of stuff. If you're not into beauty and stuff, so that other stuff will apply to you. But one more item that you can also pick up from Sephora and is stupidly overpriced, but I for some reason have. Actually, I can tell you why I ended up picking this. 
up was because of the YouTuber Maggie McDonald. If you guys... I actually included her in my favorite YouTubers, so... But yeah, so I picked up this water bottle because of Maggie McDonald. She is like another kind of lifestyle, health, beauty vlogger. So basically a point that Maggie brought up when she talked about the reason why she bought this water bottle was because previously she had been using a lot of water bottles that had straws. And with drinking out of a straw all the time, you can actually get pretty bloated because it's like a lot of air that you're getting in as well. So she ended up picking up this water bottle and I myself have noticed that I literally only drink out of straws and deal with a lot of burps. <laughs> a lot of burps. <laughs> because of like bloating and extra air. So I ended up picking up this water bottle. You definitely don't need to pick up this one. There's plenty and plenty of water bottles out there that don't contain straws. But I really liked this one because it has like a really small opening. So it's like a kind of like the comparable to like a pop bottle or like a plastic water bottle like it's just super easy to drink out of most like open lid water bottles are like so huge and I feel like I'm like splashing myself in the face which I not a fan and then this is glass too it's just like a silicone casing on it so another thing that I really like I don't like drinking out of stainless bottles normally I just feel like you can like taste it and I'm not a fan so yeah 10 out of 10 do recommend this water bottle even though it is exorbitantly priced and you can find plenty for it cheaper but I've had a good experience so that's that <laughs> thank you Maggie next item is well the next two items I guess are from Lush and it is the sleepy shower gel and lotion I die for these these are the best <laughs> they are a little bit on the pricier side but they do last you like literally forever I've had this for like months and months and like Literally, I have so much of it because you only need it the tiniest bit. But it smells absolutely unreal. They're both lavender products. They're called Sleepy because they, like, really do make you, like, so, so relaxed. The lotion before bed or if you're taking a shower before bed. They're so unreal. I do use the shower gel in the day, too. It's not like it's, like, sleeping pills. Like, you're going to be fine. But it is just, like, a really, really nice scent to, like, help you relax. And... I just die for it. Like this smell. Oh my god. I wish you could smell it. But 10 out of 10. Recommend. Obviously. Like everything else. Guys, I have great taste. Okay? Before I forget, another one of my favorite purchases is actually a purchase that I shared with you guys in a recent video of mine, my spring haul, is my J necklace for my JJ Bear. But yeah, so this is my little J necklace. It's from Vibesin. And I'll just have it linked down below. There you can get any letter that you want, obviously. And I just really, really like it. I like the length of it, the quality of it. I like that it's like old English style. I don't know, I'm just into it. It's just a fave. I wear it every day. Good stuff. And last tangible product to show you is a little bit large. But it is this brush holder vanity organizer situation. You can see my light reflecting in it. Sorry about that. Can you say it? Can you say it? But yeah, it's like this little organizer that you can put... Well, okay, not so little, but... It's this acrylic organizer that you can put on your desk. It has five, like, dividers in the front. And then this back section is, like, all one long section that I keep, like, sprays and stuff in. But it's, like, perfect for organizing your brushes. I have some tools. I keep, like, makeup remover and hand sanitizer in here. I have seen organizers like this on YouTube from a few different people that I watch and I had a really hard time finding one that I could purchase. I feel like everyone that I watch goes to the container store and like I live in Canada and that's just like not really a thing for me. So I ended up finding this organizer from Amazon and I'm really really happy with it. I'll have it linked in the description box along with everything else that I talk about in this video. So if you have been in the search of one of those like me for the last while. Um, that's one I found and it's pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good, okay. All right, and for a couple more random favorites of mine. So to start, let's talk about some of my favorites. Sorry, I got a little notepad here, you know, I'm trying to, trying to remember what I'm doing. So some of my favorite YouTubers right now would have to be, like I mentioned earlier, Maggie McDonald. She's really good for like lifestyle content. She does a lot of vlogs revolving around like what she eats, like 
style, like all that kind of like good, fun, fresh, healthy, clean, living the life. Love it. She posts like three times a week, so like I'm here for it. But I have really been enjoying Maggie's videos lately because she has talked a lot about her experience with bloating and like things that she has changed in like her diet and her eating habits that have like really helped her with um, similar things that I've dealt with. So it's just interesting to watch. She's like really inspirational if you're like trying to get your life together, you know, like that kind of content. Um, another favorite YouTuber of mine is Ryan Trahan. I think I talked about him like in my last video, but his main channel is like iconic. He makes a lot of really unique and creative content that's like why has nobody ever made this video before because it's like so funny and original. So living for that. And then he also has a second channel where he streams playing Minecraft, which you might be like laughing at me right now for like watching those videos. And like, trust me, I was laughing at myself. I'm like, Minecraft? I was like, I don't know. But he was like talking about some interesting stuff while he was playing. So I was like, you know, I'll just drop in, you know, like listen to it like a podcast. Like it'll be casual. I'd never played Minecraft before. That was like after my time, okay? Like I was older. I wasn't in that era of Minecraft, okay? It wasn't my, wasn't my elementary school experience. So I didn't know what was going on. I was just listening. I was just, you know, experiencing the journey. And then I was like, hey, this looks like what? This looks like what? But anyways, I started watching his videos and I just like really, really enjoyed them. He's really funny. And then I started getting really invested in the game itself. <laughs> so really invested. <laughs> I'm a Minecraft girl now, okay? Um, yeah. Sue me. Sue me. Guys, if I make Minecraft, if I make a Minecraft video, like, would you be down? Yes. Thanks. I mean, heck yes. <laughs> I like Loki. Okay, now I'm just going off on a tangent on Minecraft. This was on my list to talk about in this video anyways. Um, but I Loki like, spent my entire... Weekend. Yeah, so starting Sunday night all the way until Monday night, essentially, I played Minecraft and I loved it. And, and Tuesday night. And yeah, and probably tonight, so today's Wednesday, so. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I really, really love it. I'm like building a cool house, living my best life. I kind of want to bring you guys in on like my on my, uh, you know, my life over there. Like, I'm kind of just, like, living a separate double life and I feel like you're missing out. And you let me know if you want to be filled in on that, okay? You let me know. Then we can talk. But I did also, another thing I could talk about, I did also buy a new pair of headphones because I was wearing my little AirPods for, like, hours and hours on end and then I couldn't feel my ears anymore and then they were dying. And I was like... I love you AirPods so much, but like, it's not, they're just not cut out for like the streaming gamer lifestyle. So I ended up buying some gaming headphones and I'm a Twitch streamer now. Not really, but like maybe I would be so. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> um. <laughs> you can laugh. It's okay. I laugh too. Just picture me. It's me being a gamer. Can you tell? <laughs> <laughs> but they're sick. They're so comfortable. The sound is like really good. And I can have it like super loud and you can't like really hear. Like Jaden can't hear what I'm listening to if I have it like really loud. So it's pretty sick. Pretty comfortable. You know, it is wired so the battery won't die because that's a gamer life hack, you know, get your wired stuff. But yeah, that's my new life path, that's my new career. Um, YouTube is fun, but I'm a Twitch streamer now, so. And another thing I wanted to talk to you guys about was my favorite music right now. I'm going to keep this list pretty short because, I'm, I don't know, this video is probably long already. But, uh, let me just show you here. So, Miley Cyrus, she is coming absolutely iconic yeah not a huge fan of catitude with rupaul which is like a shame because i love rupaul 
but that song is just a miss for me. But everything else on the album is, or the EP, it's so good for like screaming in the car too. Absolutely love it. And it's like really feminist and like pro-choice, pro-women, pro... everything that we stand for me and Miley you know us together Ugh, no it's it's so good and on Spotify if you guys are Spotify queens like me there is like little videos that play along with the songs I don't know if you guys are op Apple music people or what your deals are but Spotify is where it's at like they have like the cutest little shit going on here oh my god 10 out of 10 and then another artist that I have been absolutely obsessed lately i think i'm a little bit late on the train but if you are too then hop on with me you know we're still rolling um is olivia o'brien i have been like binging her stuff lately it's kind of funny because i feel like a lot of her music stems out of like heartbreak and like that's just not a feeling that i have related to in like a while because i'm madly in love with my man it's I love you too. What did you say about me? <laughs> yeah, I love Olivia's stuff. Let me give you guys a couple of my favorite songs on my playlist here. No Love is so good. R.I.P. is really good. Empty is really good. Trust Issues is really good. You know, you can kind of tell from the songs that they're like... A little bit of like she's going through it when she writes these songs, but like they're so good and I feel like even if like I don't relate to what she's talking about right now, it's like something that I've related to at some point in my life. And her voice is just absolutely incredible. Like I just absolutely am so obsessed with her voice. Her voice reminds me a lot of SZA as well. I feel like they have like kind of similar sounds in like the best way possible because I love SZA. Um, but yeah, if you aren't on the Olivia O'Brien train, jump on it with me because I'm having a good time. And another thing I wanted to throw in here is a couple of my favorite podcasts right now. So two new ones that have been recently added to my list is the podcast Approachable by YouTuber Samantha Ravendell. And she does it with her uh, best friend and I believe like roommate, uh, Alyssa. And they talk about like a lot of really important topics it's not like it's not one of the lighter podcasts that I listen to but it is like really really nice to talk about they talk about a lot of heavier topics so you know sometimes you have to think about when you're going to listen to them but I really really enjoy listening to them talk about like really really big topics like abortion addiction they talk about like the stigmatisms around millennials and just like some deeper topics compared to most of the podcasts that I listen to that are like more comedy based but it is really really interesting and I just love their approach to things they're very um, open and honest about their feelings and yeah I don't know I just really respect them as women and creators and it's a really really cool podcast to add to my routine so I've really been enjoying that lately and another podcast a little bit on the lighter side and it's pretty brand new there's only one episode out currently when I'm filming this but it is the Courage and Nade Shot Show. So if you guys aren't familiar with Courage JD and Nade Shot, they are two um, really big people in the gaming industry and on Twitch. So Courage is Jaden and I's favorite Twitch streamer and he just joined the organization 100 Thieves, which is Nade Shot's organization. And along with the announcement of Courage joining 100 Thieves, they announced that they're doing this podcast together. And we listened to, or we watched, they have it on YouTube as well. Jaden and I watched the first episode with Valkyrie, which is another member of the 100 Thieves, and she lives in the same house with them. And it was like just really, really interesting. It was really funny and laid back, and you get to see like a little bit of behind the scenes of what goes into like their jobs and everything that they do, which is like super, super fascinating to at least Jaden and I, and maybe to you as well. And I guess another thing I could touch on too, and I feel like it's worth mentioning, um, if you guys don't watch like any Twitch streamers or anything, but like you still like know what Fortnite is and like. I don't know, you just like kind of still like know what's going on. I really recommend that you watch um, Courage JD's YouTube videos. They are so funny and I think he has like one of the best editors in the industry. They're absolutely hilarious. You do not have to play the game or really know how the game works in order for them to be funny. They are absolutely hilarious. He uploads videos 
every single day. Jane and I watch them before bed and we literally like crack ourselves up laughing all the time. They're just absolutely hilarious. 20 out of 10, recommend. Shout out Swappa. Shout out Swappa. <laughs> Yeah, Swapa is the editor for Courageous Videos and like, bow down. Like, I. Mm, I want to be able to edit like that one day. Like, they're hilarious. And yeah, that about wraps up this week's video, I think. Kind of random, kind of all over the place, but just a couple things that I've been enjoying. Kind of wanted to get you guys' feedback on a few of those things as well. Let me know if you want to see any Minecraft content from me. I know it's like kind of ridiculous, but like I'm kind of down for it because like I'm really enjoying it. <laughs> and um, yeah, I just hope you guys enjoyed watching this week's video. Also, it's peony season right now, so if you're into peonies, that's a favorite right now. You know, I just had to throw mine out yesterday, but they're beautiful. But yeah, thank you guys for watching this week's video. I hope you enjoyed this random little sit down video from me this week. And let me know if there's any other videos that you want to see from me coming up. I'm hoping that in July I can post more frequently than once a week. So if you have any ideas for me, then leave them down below. And I will see you guys next Sunday. <laughs> okay, thank you for watching. And um, why am I talking so much? Alright, see you guys next week. Bye. I'm no, you're good. Um, You're doing good too. Oh, thanks. <laughs> what? You're doing good. This is gonna be a good one, I can tell. <sighs> okay. I feel it in my bones. <laughs> or actually, a per. I'm a gamer girl now, did you know? But she's been talking about. You got it. You got it. You got it. You got it. <laughs> a lot about her. 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 Uh, mm, eh, eh. Okay, okay, let me just figure my shit out here. No one wants to talk to you on the phone! Oh, I got a burp. I think if... Well, mm. That was a good video. You think? Yeah, I liked it a lot. Thanks, honey. Are you still there? To delete the message, press 7. To save it in the archives, press 9. To hear more options, press 0. What are you talking about?